Hey, Monster Serials, how you doing? I have a new episode of Comic Reviews of Fate, and I'm going to be talking about X-Men 1. And, of course, it's brought to you by my own uh, comic, Red Knight, from uh, Primal Paper Comics. Check out the website below. You can actually download the free Comic Book Day special for free and check out all five titles of our uh, comic company. Now, X-Men 1. This is one I've been waiting for ever since it was announced, actually, uh, by Brian Wood and uh, Olivia Coppell. And, um, let's see, how should I... Let's see, where should I begin with this one? It, um, uh, essentially, there is a huge explosion... And in that explosion, apparently, uh, Jub Jubilee discovers a uh, baby who's apparently uh, there uh, ha was orphaned uh, from this uh, horrible explosion. Anyway, she takes she takes it, adopts it, and she feels like she's being followed. So uh, naturally, the only place she feels safe is heading back to uh, you know the X Men uh, school, uh, the Jean Grey school, and. She just senses on the plane and on the train that she has somebody, you know, watching her. So therefore, she, you know, radios ahead and contacts, uh, you know, the gang. Uh, of course, the school is, yeah, it. Let's see, it is run by uh, uh, Wolverine, Kitty Pride, Storm, Rachel Summers. Uh, we get to see uh, Storm and Rachel Summers, uh, Storm sporting her new uh, or her her mohawk uh, style again. And, uh, let's see, this must be an interesting school where your, you know, headmasters walk around dressed like that, in mohawks and leather trench coats. And, um, let's see, they decide to, uh, kind of meet up ahead uh, on the train, you know, just in, uh, just in case. But apparently something goes wrong. Uh, oh, uh, while that's happening, John Sublime, uh who is uh, somewhat mysterious about his motives, comes to the uh, X-Men mansion and surrenders to Rachel Summers. Uh, meanwhile, Jubilee fills the, uh, the gang in on uh, what exactly is the story with this baby and uh, how she's basically become his mother. Uh, even really kind of really attaching uh, to him. Uh, but apparently there's something up with this baby and... Uh, from what I understand from my uh, interviews with Brian Wood, it's not really evil, but it ha it's carrying some sort of entity uh, that's sort of, uh, I don't know, not possessing like, you know, like exorcist possessing, but it, uh, it's kind of just jumped on like a host. Uh, and it causes all sorts of electrical mayhem, uh, including uh, this mess on the train, which almost gets everybody killed. And uh, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, once uh, they get to the mansion, it actually uh, obviously gets worse. It is a comic book series, after all. It would kind of suck if everything got better instantly. Uh, the art is, of course, I mean, Coppell is Coppell. I mean, is there anything this guy does wrong? Uh, I, I'm a big fan of his work. Uh, he'll be handling the art chores on the first three issues. Uh, and uh, Brian Wood's work is just, as usual, sensational. I think he's got a good voice for all the characters. Uh, they uh, get along really well. And uh, there was some criticism like, oh, female team, you know, getting some you know, attention like that, which I think is stupid bullshit uh, kind of uh, opinion. But um, essentially... All these characters have known each other forever, and they've always worked together. So, to be honest, like, you know, the X-Men teens have been, like, pretty much stacked full of uh, female characters. So, to be honest, I'm surprised this didn't happen earlier. Uh, I love this one a lot. I think I'm going to throw this onto my pull list. I'm reading a lot of X-Men. I don't... Okay, it's 2013. I'm reading X-Men and not Batman. Weird. Five Ram Chips. I highly recommend this uh, book. Check it out. Uh, I'm definitely going to be buying uh, this book uh, from, uh, from this point on. All right. Push the button, Lindsay.